Hi friends, hope you are fine. Today let us understand the structure and function of IgG within 2 to 3 minutes. So this is the structure of IgG. It consists of two heavy chains and two light chains that is joined by disulfide bond. This red colored is the disulfide bonding. Upper part is called as FAB fragment as it is having the antigen binding site and this constant region is called the FC fragment. This variable region is responsible for specificity of antibodies. There are two antigen binding site for IgG and this is the FC region that binds to effector molecules or activates complement system. So it is designated as H2L2 as it is made up of two heavy chains and two light chains and this C represent the constant region within this antibody. A heavy chain is gamma in the case of IgG that's why it is called as IgG. There are two antigen binding site. Molecular weight is approximately 150,000 Dalton. The most abundant antibody accounts nearly 80% in serum. It can cross placenta. It's the only antibody that can cross placenta. So this antibody can cross placenta and it reaches fetus and this antibody is responsible for the protection of fetus during the developing stage the immune system is gradually developing in fetus so this antibody offers protection at that stage so remember IgG is the only antibody that can cross placenta then it fixes complement that means suppose this is an infected RBC so IgG can directly bind to epitopes on this infected cell this FC region is free. There are many serum proteins that acts in cascade called as complement system. So this complement system, this complement proteins can interact with this FC region and can activate many other protein downside ultimately either causing phagocytosis or enhancing the phagocytosis by other phagocytes or it can directly cause the disruption of the membrane by means of the formation of a membrane attacking complex finally causing the destruction of that infected cell. So this is called as complement activation IgG. The FC region of the IgG can activate complement proteins whereby can clear out infected cells. Hope this is clear. This FC region can binds to phagocytes like monocytes, macrophages etc. So this is a pathogen, this is an epitope, the IgG has bound to this epitope. This FC region can directly interact with effector cells like cytotoxic T cells, natural killer cells, etc. Or other phagocytes like macrophages, etc. There are four subclasses, IgG1 to G4, IgG2 is directed against encapsulated bacteria. The functions include, it is a predominant antibody in secondary immune response along with IgM. It mediates type 2 hypersensitivity. So as you see in this figure, IgM is the first antibody that is formed as a result of immune response. Then comes the IgG. Then the concentration of IgG gradually increases in during secondary immune antibody response. IgG works by neutralization agglutination causing clumping of infected cells ultimately causing a destruction it activates complement we have already discussed then opsonization opsonization means it enhances the capacity of phagocytes for phagocytosis ensuring the destruction of infected cell if it is bounded by IgG also mediates antibody dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity that means IgG bound infected cell can directly activate cytotoxic T cells that can directly destroy that infected cell that is antibody dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity. These are the major functions of IgG. Hope you are clear. We have given a complete video on this topic. You can refer that for more. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.